Welcome to That's a Wrap Theory Edition. But before I dive into my theory, if you like the content on this channel, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notifications. So let's get on the reason why you clicked on this video. So before I get into the theory, I'm calling this theory the WandaVision Asgard Connection Theory. Kind of long, kind of a dumb name, but that's the best I could come up with. If anybody else can come up with a better one, I'll maybe rename it. But let's dive right into the theory. So in episode 8 of WandaVision, we see Agatha being accused and punished for stealing knowledge above her age and station. Her mother tells her, you practice the darkest of magic. What did she steal? What dark magic? I believe she stole as guardian spells or knowledge. And what dark magic? I think it's the same magic that we see in Thor the Dark World and that we also see in Doctor Strange. But how do you ask? Well, that's the fun part. First, how does Agatha steal something or anything from Asgard? In Thor the Dark World, we see there's pockets of energy or gateway that can be traveled to reach the nine realms. I believe Agatha used one of these gateways to travel to Asgard and steal knowledge, just like we see Loki do when he helps Thor and Jane get out of Asgard. We see in WandaVision episode eight, when Agatha in the opening scene, her magic has a dark tint in WandaVision episode 8, we also see what looks to be a Asgardian book with the Tree of Life on it, behind Ralph the Bunny. We see this symbol and representation of this symbol all across the MCU in the Infinity Saga. We see it in Captain America the First Avenger. We also see it in Thor Ragnarok. We see representations of it in Thor when he is explaining it to Jane Foster. Also, when Loki uses the Odin casket to destroy the frost giant's planet and it forms a tree or what looks to be the tree of life. Also, in Thor the Dark World, we enter the library in Asgard where we see the tree of life in all its glory. And in Doctor Strange, in the middle of the Ancient One Sanctum, we see a tree that looks exactly like the tree of life. You think that's a stretch? I don't think so. Look at the tree in Thor 1 and look at the tree in Doctor Strange. They look identical or really, really close to it. So back to episode eight in Agatha's dungeon, we see roots all over. I believe this symbolizes the dark magic her fellow covenant were accusing her of. We also see symbols on the wall that Agatha tells us are basic protection spells. But if you study ancient myths like I do, you'll recognize those symbols as ancient Celtic or Celtic or Norse runes. I also believe the floor in Agatha's basement are influenced by these Celtic or Celtic or Norse or Asgardian myths or symbols. That's why the show doesn't fully show the floor. Lately, I see fans making a big deal about WandaVision introducing witches into the MCU. But I'm sorry to spoil the party and be the bearer of bad news, but witches have been here since the beginning. In Thor The Dark World, we find out that Thor's mom is a witch when Malekith calls her that, and she confirms that in Endgame when she tells Thor she was raised by witches. Maybe the witches in episode eight? No, probably not. I also believe the ancient one is also a witch. In Doctor Strange, we find out that the ancient one is of Celtic or Celtic descent. Why does that matter? Celtic or Celtic or Norse mythology is where we get Thor and Odin, etc. We also find out that she uses dark magic from the dark dimension to live thousands of years or hundreds of years. Could Frigga Thor's mom and the ancient one be sisters or related or maybe even study together? Maybe. That's why I believe the tree symbolism in Doctor Strange 
or more specifically in the Ancient One's Sanctum, is a tribute or a reminder of Asgard. We also see Celtic or Celtic symbols in that movie. Coincidence? There's no such thing as coincidence in Marvel movies. So when Wong tells Doctor Strange about the Ancient One's private collection of books, could those books be from the Asgardian library? Why, yeah, yeah, they are. They have similar magic we see in Asgard, items infused with magic. So at this point, we see that Agatha or Agnes stole secret knowledge that places her at the beginning of episode eight. Though I think the book we see behind Ralph the Bunny was stolen by Agnes during the convergence in Thor the Dark World. Only due to after the event of the Dark World, Asgard has no king. As we know, Loki exiled Odin to Earth, so the disappearance of the book would have gone unnoticed. Also, when we see the door that Agatha uses to take Wanda back into her past, I believe it's a combination of spells. The top part looks similar to the circles we see in Asgard, but more specifically in Heimdall's Absorbatory that allows them to travel within the Nine Realms, but Agatha uses that spell in combination with others to achieve what we see in Episode 8, to go into different times in Wanda's life. So here we see by now that Agnes has a full or a or good knowledge about magic and myths according to a Asgardian lore. That's why at the end of episode 8 she tells Wanda, you have no idea who you are. You are supposed to be a myth. A myth she learned from Asgard and from the knowledge and books she stole from Asgard. That's why she is certain when she says, this is chaos magic, because Wanda is a walking infinity god. That's why we see in WandaVision, Wanda shows her powers of all the infinity stones. But the smoking gun is when we see similarities in Wanda and Jane Foster, when she has the ether in her and you see the explosion of power and you see the same energy that Wanda shows us towards the end of episode eight, but sees the power as what Malekith used it for, the destruction of the nine realms. That's why Agatha is scared of Wanda. We also see how Wanda was able to make vision using Asgardian magic, magic that she doesn't understand. But in Thor the Dark World, we see Jane in Asgard and they use a quote unquote soul forge or as jane calls it a quantum field generator that as jane puts it transfers molecular energy from one place to another and doesn't that sound and look like what wanda did to bring vision back in wandavision but hey that's just a the wait wrong show wrong show just kidding so tell me what you think that's the theory that i came up the asgardian connection to wanda let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys think this is plausible. But like always, that's a wrap.